Do you want to preserve your earthly life or are you ready to lose it for your heavenly life? Death is a very natural phenomenon. Any day could be our last day. Today, our greatest fear is the fear of death. The graveyard can be a frightening sight for many people. Many people in our generation fear death because they have never prepared themselves for their own death. When we look at the graveyard, when we look at the bodies lying out under the soil, we need to think of our own future. Death is an unavoidable reality. Everybody who lived on this earth had to face their own death. Those people who were dead and gone had a very brief moment here and when their time came they passed away. Originally we were not created for death but for life. However, once sin entered the world, its consequence was death. It is through the doorstep of death that our soul enters into eternity. Everyone who entered eternal life had to face the reality of death. In present, many people have become terribly afraid of death because of their unpreparedness for death. But those who have got used to die to their own selves, those who have practiced dying to their own ego are prepared for their own death and they happily bear fruit for eternal life. In today's gospel, Jesus reminds us that our life should be like a grain of wheat that must die in order to produce fruit. If a grain of wheat remains the same without falling and dying, it cannot bear fruit. The darkest and the most painful hour in the life of a seed is the hour in which it dies. Yet this is the very hour in which the new life is born. These words of Jesus Christ reminds us that we too are called to give up ourselves, to give up our own ego and to live for Jesus Christ. Once we die to our own selves, we put the needs of the others before our own. And that is where we can bear much fruit for the kingdom of God. Further, Jesus tells us that those who love their lives will destroy it. And those who despise their lives in this world will save it even to the eternal life. Jesus uttered these words of self-denial at a moment when some foreigners came to meet him. In the beginning of the gospel, it is said that some Greeks had come to Jerusalem for the feast. Now, these Greeks hear about this new celebrity, a new hero, a new philosopher called Jesus. In fact, these Greeks wanted to encounter Jesus so that they may gain the worldly wisdom. They wanted to know how to save their earthly life, how to live an easy and trouble-free life according to the philosophy. The aim of their meeting with Jesus was to gain knowledge about success and triumph of this life. But on the contrary, Jesus speaks about losing our earthly life in order to win the heavenly life. Jesus was telling his audience that his death is absolutely necessary to open the doors for new life. Jesus here foretells that he has to die and to be buried under the earth for three days so that he may rise again to the glorious heavenly life. In today's first reading, taken from the letter to the Hebrews, it is said that Christ in the days of his mortal life offered his sacrifice with tears and cries. Jesus did not wish to save his mortal life. He did not want to preserve his mortal life and to be successful in this life. Rather, he offered his mortal life as a sacrifice so that all of us may bear much fruit. Also it says, Although he was God's son, he learnt obedience through suffering. In our own lives, we have learnt from our very early days that death is bad. So we would like to avoid death at all costs. Today our purpose is not to give up ourselves and to die for one another, but instead to preserve our own life as much as possible. Today we don't like to think about our death, about our failures, about our weaknesses and about our sacrifice for the other. Rather, the world tells us to focus on prosperity, on success, on victory and how to preserve our life by any means. But 
we Christians are called today to die to ourselves, to give up our own ego, to give up our selfish motives so that we may stay open to God's will. So dying must become a part of our lives if we really want to gain eternal life. Today, what are the things in you and me that should die? We need to die to our old prejudices and selfish attitudes. We should die to our old feelings of hatred and animosity. During this Lent, through fasting and abstinence, we should die to our greed for food and for wealth. We should die to our unholy desires and evil addictions of lust. When we daily train ourselves to die to our egoistic life in these little little ways, then we realize our potential to rise into new life. Therefore, like the grain of wheat, let us die to our own ego on daily basis. Then, when that day comes to hand over our very lives, we would embrace death very happily and we may enter into eternal life with Jesus Christ.